Hello traders, happy Friday. It is what, November 15th. Um, this is my update. Uh, I'm starting here actually on my on my X page for a couple reasons. I wanna show, for those of you that maybe are not aware, you can subscribe to me because I am also posting my charts on X. Um, but you can see the results above my head. Again, I had one trade, one trade today, it won, I'm done. And it played out really nice. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I set up my copy trader incorrectly. So I rolled over my oil contract to the January contract, but in my trade copier, I selected the December. So that's why you only see one result in my co uh, Apex accounts because it did not copy trade. And I was like, oh my gosh. So user error. But anyway, you can see the results. I'm very happy with that one and done and it just worked beautifully so let's hide the results and look at everything else so on my twitter page x excuse me you can see this is my oil chart so this is what i posted this morning and just kind of get some time stamps uh this was what well, says an hour ago so i did this you know well before i took the trade and the way i do it is i'm i come to the charts every day pull up my hour chart and i start marking now i find the um, order blocks of interest and then I also look for 15 minutes and then sometimes as you can see here I also indicated actually a five minute order block and uh, so anyway this was posted so this gives you an idea of areas and levels that I'm looking at where I want to see when price returns there if model 12 will develop now granted if this was to be disrespected here um, I, there's a less like chance, less likely chance that I would look for an inversion model 12, just because we have this one hour order block just above it. However, if price started to respond from here, then I would engage and just look for model 12. So that being said, you can see here's the trading view. What happened? And this is a 15 minute chart by mind you price came up bodies, basically respecting the mean threshold. And also look at this tight consolidation here that price went up to and then back lower so i liked the fact that price was stalling in here and in the end i just wanted to see something very specific so the uh switching to my ninja trader chart um, as price was going up into that that order block that i just showed you on trading view what i was waiting for is all of these up candles on the five minute right here become become an order block because if you're thinking bearishness then bullish candles become order blocks and so as once we started to uh chop around in here the one thing i would say I, that i didn't like a lot about this is that it did not respect the mean threshold in here but in this case what i was more focused on was the fact that this blue triangle here this not triangle rectangle um, this was a one hour bullish fair value gap and what we had in here is in this five minute we did not get above it and then we just we have an expansion leg a displacement lower and it's actually taking out swings these are things i haven't always looked at in the past but these are things i'm definitely being more patient on because i i've noticed them and i think that they can give me an edge in the model 12. what i really want to point out in this so on this one we actually had a volume imbalance so i include the volume imbalance i don't look at the wick and look at what price did i had my pending order in right here two ticks below the fair value gap low and again Fair value gaps, ICT is taught when he sees a volume imbalance, he uses that volume imbalance. So you basically ignore the wick um, that was right here. And so I used that. I was two ticks below that and look what happened. It never made it in there, but I, it, I suffered one tick of drawdown and then down it went. And um, it's hard to complain, you know, one and done, it's easy. Or let me phrase this, it's simple. The thing I have to do is make sure that I just stay hyper focused on what the process is. When I see it, I execute it. And if you watched my video yesterday, I know it probably wasn't the most interesting for a lot of you regarding um, my money management plan. But 
I am 100% focused on that. So the cool thing is now that I had this win, next week I get to increase the, my contract size. So I was trading with two contracts. Now I get to go to three. And I have a plan to dig myself out of the drawdown. And should I start to encounter losses, well then guess what? I'm gonna have to go back down to two. So two is basically my, my lowest contract size and I'm only taking one trade a day um it, win or lose because if i win there's no sense in going back to the market i, I made my money and uh, the great thing about it as well is i was able to get this trade done early enough in the morning that i have the entire day ahead of me now so i'm also really trying to enforce trading hours for myself so for me i'm focusing on the first uh from seven o'clock until ten o'clock after that I'm walking away from the charts. I don't want to trade after that. And uh, we'll see how that works um, for the remainder of the year. But I really want to start to regain part of my life and not let these charts consume me to the degree that they have. Obviously, it's been very helpful for me to do a lot of tape reading to get better at this. But I absolutely, I'm not saying that I'm an expert, but I've got my model down. I understand it. I know it. It's a done deal. The thing that I need to focus on now is the other aspects of my trading plan. So I've got my money management now in order. And if you, again, don't know what I'm talking about, I'll uh, link the video here. It should be popping up. I recommend you check it out. And if anyone has questions on that, again, leave comments in that video on, on how you can uh, use the fixed ratio management, uh, money management spreadsheet. And... Uh, Anyway, it's just, it's good stuff. So I'm done. I got the rest of the day. I got other things I need to do today anyway. So it's a, it's an extra bonus to be done this early in the morning. Um, it's eight o'clock central time, my time. So I'm, I'm, I've been able to get in the market, get what I wanted out of it before Newark opened and I'm done. So traders, it's been a good week for me. I hope it's been a good week for you. As always, I hope that you are taking more from the markets than it's taking from you. May the ticks be forever in your favor. Peace out.